Yo, I have a mentor named Dr. Wayne Williams. He told me he was, he gave me two, so he gave me a, a box with a gift. Mm -hmm. So when I opened the box up, it's a thesaurus and a dictionary. Mm -hmm. How'd you give me this for? He said, "Cause you got our potential." He said, "So I need you to to uh, use your potential to change the narrative for our people." And this is a couple years ago. When I'm sitting here with you, it's like I, I think I think about him. What he told me, you're changing the narrative. Like if I look at you, if I ain't know you, like a North Philly street guy. You know, yeah, like, everybody <laughs> did. Oh, listen, bro. <laughs> All right, so check it. You do you know what your IQ means? Do you know what it? I know what it means. But I don't know what it is. Do you? I don't know. No. Yeah. Anybody never in this got world? Tested, never got it done. No, not what it is. Do would do anybody know what your intel your intelligence quotient is? Oh no, I don't know that. Right. It's a, it's a metric they use it as a measurement. And what basically what it is is your ability, the rate at which you're able to learn something. It's not. It doesn't mean how smart you are. Mm. How far right? you take it in and understand it. So it's, it's it's the if you got an IQ of let's say like 147, and then you up there like your ability to learn things and understand them is better than other people, the people that's underneath you, right? All right. So like. We got a lot of people with high intellects in the communities that we come from, but because we're not exposed to the things that we need to be exposed to in regards to education, cultivation, and purification, mm -hmm. then we can't capitalize off the intelligence, the, the intelligent people around us. Even though we're smart, we're not exposed to the knowledge that we need to, to, to utilize that, that intellect, the ability. So with me, you could put anything in front of me. I really believe I still can be a doctor right now. Legally, if they gave me the pathway to do it, I could go to school, study, and become a doctor I become a neuroscientist I could become anything I literally want to become in the field of learning something and applying it if it's methodical I could do it right now I'm an electromechanical assembler I'll show y'all when we get off the camera what I do I take stuff and I build it and that's just in the real world but in the, in the digital world I also make ecosystems I build ecosystems that's what I do so it's like <laughs> that's just what I'm into the rapping thing is just what I do that's just how I express myself. It's no different than a person being able to play tennis and paint. It's no different. So it shouldn't be a shocker. I'm just born where I'm, I was in the first all boys class in public school history in Philadelphia when it come to Philadelphia. What school was that? M. Hall Stanton. I was in- uh, In South Philly? Nah, uh, M. Hall Stanton, uh. Morton Hall Stanton, not the one in South Philly, the one on 16th of Cumberland, but with John, uh, John Coates as our teacher. It was a social experiment. They put children that was at risk, didn't have really fathers in their lives. I don't know why Norm was in there. Norm had a dad. Norm dad was like everybody dad too. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, shout out to Norm. <laughs> but uh, it was a social experiment. They put us all in the same class for the first four years of our life, pretty much, for the first four school years of our life. And like we all still like brothers to this day. I'm 37. So it's like uh, mm. in that class, we learned confrontation. We learned how to deal with each other. We learned how to deal with men. But it kind of like you put women in our class, like at fifth grade, we didn't know what was going on. You get what I'm saying? Like we was in the wall boys class and it was documented on uh it's an HBO documentary called I Am a Promise. And a portion of that uh was documented on that. It won an award, it won an Emmy. <laughs> oh, wow. HBO. Yeah, it won an Emmy. It's called I Am a Promise. But it was all documented. It, you go show my whole neighborhood, you everything you just asked me about sixteenth mm -hmm. Street, go watch I Am a Promise wow, and you're gonna see everything. It's on, I said. it's on Amazon Prime. Oh, I got you. Damn. Yeah, the children of M Hall Stand. It's called I Am a Promise. It's a real documentary about how we came up, about where I'm from, the neighborhood, that school, everything surrounding that school, that school zone right there. And you'll see all the different elements, the addiction, the struggle, the single parenthood, the uh, fatherless children, the children with fathers, the uh, the, the felons coming back home, reentry, see a father coming back into his child life. You see a, a, a you know, homelessness, desperation, and despair, and out of all those things, you see a school with, you say, I am a promise, you see a school with, with people that still believe and that still, like, still just coming to get their learning on, you mm -hmm. feel me? With all these things going on around in the, 
They were they just still there to get their learn up. That's how you